What's going on, one and all, and welcome back to One Way Bay, where the eternal rain, uh, just keeps pouring down. I don't know, it's still raining. I like that there's clouds, though, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but what we're looking at is the bridge between, what is this, Farmville, and Hank Hill. And yeah, this is way better than it was. I, uh, I looked at it last episode, we made some tweaks, but you know what? It just needed a little bit more because it just looked like crap. This isn't very symmetrical at this point, but it looks way better. I mean, this could be rounded a little better, and this could probably be pulled up through there a little better, but you know what? I'm not an artist, I just play one on YouTube. But, um, eh, even that's up for debate. Anyway, last episode was extremely boring. We didn't really do anything. Also, what is... There's a little bit of a weird glare coming off of that street, but whatever. Not a big issue. I, I actually like how this turned out over here, like these two bridges coming across here. I, I used the terraform tool, obviously. This was kind of annoying over through here. For whatever reason, this, uh, I guess it was because I was up against the border that we can actually manipulate at this point. So when I buy that tile, this should be smoothed out a lot better. But yeah, I went around and I leveled out that and that, so those are on the same plane. And then this bridge actually kind of sags in the middle, which I kind of find funny. Because usually bridges go the opposite way, they go up and make kind of an arc, but oh well. This is, uh, this is the way it happened, and, uh, it looks like everything's working out better already. This comes in over to Hank Hill, and trucks can choose to either go up or down, and, uh, kind of go on their way, and then they can come back through here. I wanted to keep the entrance on this road, because then trucks won't just pile up through here, and we'd have a long issue. Originally, I had thought of putting it just off of this. But yeah, if I did that, trucks coming in here would block traffic that was trying to get on the highway and vice versa. So it, it just, it's going to smooth out everything a lot better for us. So uh, yeah, I don't really, what is this guy complaining about? Noise. Citizens are sick because of noise pollution. Well, you're not, there's not much going on over here. I don't know why you're complaining about that, but uh... Pollution, noise pollution. Why is it so bad up through here? Wow, actually, I've never looked at this before. The airport is a thing. I feel like the airport's noise pollution should go more in a traffic pattern, a flight traffic pattern. Like, sure, the airport's probably itself pretty noisy, but also, like, this ascent or descent for planes is going to be the loudest part. And the ascent, the takeoff area, so I feel like the pollution should kind of have like a, a a line coming off either way of the runway. But, I don't know, I didn't design this game, I just play it. Um, what? Is that anything that's very good? Actually, this is really good in here for noise pollution. That's strange. What about over through what, Old Bay? Yeah. It's a great place to live, Old Bay. I mean, there's really not a lot of noise because mostly there's not a lot of traffic. Uh, anywhere there's actually traffic is awful. Like, this square in here is terrible. What's over here, anyway? Uh, yeah, we had planned for that. We had said that all of the, like, anywhere in Mondo, in, near the Mondo intersection is going to have just terrible noise pollution. And it looks like we were proven right. But anyway, uh, should we look at more over overlays? I guess we should. Uh, leisure... There's, there's a few things going on. What is all of this? Oh, parks. So, since there's, there's so many little parks going through here. So, I guess it kind of shows all of them. Either way. Uh, unique buildings. So, that's a thing. What about, um... I don't know. Should we... Maybe this is part of the reason why nothing's really going in over here. And actually, we got a few houses. We got quite a few houses up here on this hill now. I'm not particularly planning on keeping these houses up here because uh, I'm, I need the land for tree work that still isn't moving in over here. So I don't know how to fix that. Maybe if I put like one little park in here, it'll fix everything. Should we try it? Maybe. Um, if I can find a park that is suitable. Anything tiny? 
Stackyard container. Uh, private parking lot. I don't think that gives off anything. What? Oh, here's a plaza. Sure. That's a freaking big plaza. Don't want that. What is this? This is an admirable park. That's huge. Actually, what is... I don't know what this park even looks like. I guess we'll place it down. Oh, it's just a tiny little park. That's pretty cool. Where should we put that? Maybe we should put that over in the pinwheel district? I mean, it really could use it. It really could. It could go off of here. And that actually affects a major area. So let's go ahead and do it. Right there. Look at all of those happy faces. Everybody in the pinwheel district is loving us right now. And it actually fits in very well. Oh, you can hear him upgrade already. Yeah, this whole thing fits in very well because we can just attach all of this back to the actual main paths. So, yeah, this was a really, really good spot to put that. <laughs> there they all go. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. That just... That affected the crap out of the pinwheel district. So, what the hell? They're still going up. All right, what did that exactly... What does this look like? Where is that land value thing even at? No, that's just districts, that's leisure, so that, I guess, technically helps there. But I think, where's the property value? Levels, um, property value, citizen happiness. Is anybody not happy? Is anybody, anybody at all? I mean, here's like one thing, not enough workers, they're unhappy, but whatever. Screw them. Uh, where the hell is the property level? I just, it's this one, right? <laughs> Use your brain. Actually look for stuff. Okay. Um, average land value is $34, whatever that symbol means, per meter squared. So that's pretty good. What is, what do you guys think is the most, like, prosperous in terms of land value? I think Cantites, maybe, at 60. Uh, yeah, Pinwheel District is now at 31. Springler Row is nothing. Slumberjack Hill, still nothing. Old Bay is at 57. That's pretty good. But I think the highest one has got to be... Yeah, it's looking like Ken Tights is totally it. So that's interesting. And the Off-Brown River is still up at 56. What is the specific ocean? Nothing. Okay, that at least makes sense. And oh my god, this rain. I had... what We went like... Three or four episodes without any weather, and now we've gone two episodes of ma basically all of the weather. And it looks like we've just gotten fog now. So that's actually really cool. It just fogs right after rain like that. That's cool. But I think the sun is finally emerging. And like I said in the last episode, the mod that I used actually helps a ton. Actually, while I'm talking, I should probably be zoning stuff, but... Yeah, that mod, the uh, Time Warp mod, highly recommend it. It slows down the whole process of the day-night cycle. So it actually gives us a little bit of like an actual semblance of a day. Um, yeah, I had said in the last episode that in this episode, we will talk about Rush Hour some more. And this will be where I get the final vote from you guys. Hopefully you've stuck with me long enough and you guys know what's going on. But Rush Hour, yay or nay, thumbs up if you want it, thumbs down if you don't. And just let me know in general in the comments, do you want more mods in this city? I don't want to go crazy, like I said, because it can have the tendency to break things. But should we do, like, one mod that will pretty much change the way the city functions? I just want to see how it works, to be honest. That's, it's in a, technically it's a beta at this point. The mod is in beta. But, I mean, it's going to be pretty cool. It's got a lot of cool features that I'm looking forward to seeing. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, have we done anything in this episode besides stare at the work? Not really. Also, there's a ton of traffic going on over here. What? What is the problem over here? I think it's just the whole flow of Farmville has just... It's not entirely great this point. I'm thinking that maybe we should turn this around 
and uh, give people another option to go up and then go through up oh, up oh, water 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 no that's bad that's very bad I think it's because of electricity yeah so see when it gets down to 54 yeah it even says right there we need more electricity when it's colder and because the water pumps are the farthest farthest thing away they tend to suffer first and because of that it actually throws our whole entire city into a tizzy so it'll it'll come back after the weather heats up a little bit but it's raining and cold again damn it all right we need to fix this i'm just gonna add a couple more of these things just temporarily even right out here um just to give us a little bit more power uh hopefully there we go a little bit do we have water it's like a rolling blackout okay we have water that's good all right so we're going to need a another oil station i think really wasn't planning on that uh, i was not anticipating the change that snowfall would bring for us but i'm actually happy it, it, it's a little bit of a different strategy it's a little uh it's a little different in terms of gameplay which i always like it makes it a little bit more challenging which is what this game honestly needs i mean i'm playing hard mode right now and i've put a very restricting challenge in front of me and i think as you can pretty much tell it it hasn't been that hard i mean it has but it it hasn't i don't know there there were parts that we've looked at basically almost going bankrupt and those were scary times and anyone who's been around long enough in one way bay and watched all of the series knows those scary times and how much we had to freak out well i don't know it got i don't know about you guys but i totally freaked out um because i thought one way bay was doomed but uh we've we've always made it through so that's at least good okay so see how much we have to spare now that we don't have or that the weather's up over 50 degrees it seems to be the line is around 60 degrees is when that all kind of starts to shit the bed but um yeah so we've actually pretty much nailed 1000 megawatts of power so at least that's pretty good um if i can i sell this i don't think i can sell that can I just, if you bulldoze something, does it sell it? Or do you actually cost, does it cost you money? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get $6,200. But until then, let's just watch this sunset slowly drift. Let's go to something to do with school. And just watch the, wow, watch the sunset from a park. From the Central Park. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's, it's truly beautiful. Um, alright. Wow. There's a ship coming in off the shore. Port Pleasure. And heading there with 56 people. Um, alright. So, since it's night, and since we're only pretty much just waiting for our budget to come up so we can fix our energy crisis, let's try to figure out what the hell's wrong with this city, and why we don't have any demand for anything at this point. Uh, we have plenty of garbage um, capacity, I guess you could say. We have way more than enough health care at this point. We have plenty of cemetery spots, crematorium. Uh, I guess sauna technically counts as health care, so that's pretty interesting. And then fire safety is... It, it could be better. It could be way better, actually, at this point. Okay, we're back in the negatives in terms of budget. I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe at night they use more electricity? I don't think that's how that works. Look at the ships even have lights on them. That's really awesome. What about the uh, aircraft? I'm pretty sure they would. Uh, doesn't appear as though anything's flying in at this point, though. Hello, Mayor. Ever heard about this? The new study f scientist finds that trees and sound barriers reduce traffic noise. Yes, I know, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. We've been pretty slacking, as you could tell by the beginning parts of this episode, in the terms of 
uh, noise pollution, but I don't know. Oh, there they are. Wow, I didn't even notice that these were a double-decker plane. Interesting. Uh, 200 passengers? I feel like a double-decker plane would have more capacity? I honestly am just taking a shot in the dark there. I'm not sure if that's even true, but um, I don't know. Okay, so it's actually 48 degrees. It got really cold for a second, and I'm wondering if the day-night cycle actually plays into... <laughs> Katie Phillips is just partying all night long, apparently. But yeah, I'm wondering if the day-night cycle plays into the cold and warm of the weather. Did that sentence make sense? The temperature? Uh, so I guess logically at night it would get colder, and during the day it would heat up more. And it appears to be that right now, but I'm not exactly sure. Actually, this looks really cool. Look at this. All of these street lights just kind of made for like a polka dot pattern. Huh. Really, really cool. And we have a crime issue. How is that doing? Uh, we actually need some more jails. And once again, I don't think we need a prison at this point. It's got a capacity of how many people? I don't know. It doesn't say. It's got a van capacity. There's five vans that can go out. I just don't know how many prisoners you can have. So, I don't know. I think we just need a police department down here. Because it'll be able to handle Springler Row. And also Earl Land, which actually does have a little bit of a crime problem at points. Um, but I don't know. Uh, how is... Wow, people have now moved in up here. Is there anything, like, policy-wise that we can do to entice businesses to come into Slumberjack Hill? I don't know. There's the industrial space planning that allows industry to work even more efficiently by uh, overlooking a few work safety laws. I mean, we'll just turn our head. We don't care if those saws have blade protection on them or not, but uh, I don't even think that's going to help at this point. I just don't, I don't know. We, we're clearly importing. Where's the outside connections thing? Wow, I kind of wish there was, there probably is a mod to turn those into text, but I, I don't know. We're definitely importing a ton of forestry, and we're exporting a lot of goods, which is great. We've been over that before, and this split seems to be widening now a little bit for the medium wealth, and the high wealth is actually going down, which isn't good, because it means high wealth people aren't coming in because they feel like there's not much good to do. Is that a is that sentence even grammatically correct? I don't think it is. <laughs> I am the biggest critique of my own sentences, I feel like. I mean, I've had people call me out on stuff that I've said and like re repeating myself before, which I appreciate because I know I do it and I try to I'm trying to get better at commentating, but you know, um yeah, sometimes I just say weird things uh, that don't make sense. But anyway, we have demand for forestry. We just don't have anyone freaking moving in up here. What's going on, guys? Let's, maybe we should just zone, like, some more over here or something. Maybe it's just a matter of plot size or something. I just don't understand what's going on. Oh, we got one. We got one. We got a little Woody's Wood shop and a Woody's Wood two Woody's Wood times two shop. Sure. Okay, so we've got a few things coming in. That's good. We should actually probably... Okay, there's that. Um, hopefully these will just get the ball rolling. And I just... I don't know. Hopefully... Wow, it's still really cold. And our electricity is actually taking a, a little bit of a hit. And so, unfortunately, the nighttime is also... Uh, at one quarter speed. So, yeah, I mean, nighttime is as slow as daytime, which means it's also equally as long. So, I guess what I can do is just change it to morning because screw it. <laughs> just right click on it and change it to morning. Um, oh, cool. We've officially got enough money to go ahead and put our oil power plant back in over here take this one out. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to pause it, though, just because I know it's going to freak out. But 
All right, so we have 73,000. If I delete this, nothing happens. So it doesn't cost us, but it doesn't refund us anything. So that's interesting. Um, and then oil power plant, we'll put that in right there. I'm actually happy that fits there. But yeah, now we should have plenty of capacity once that thing gets kicked on. There we go. And then I can just delete these again. Those were just kind of a safety precaution because the city was going uh, dry, I guess. The electricity was not making it to the pumps. So that's that. Uh, is there a fire department? Yeah. We have a... I think we have a fire department in Farmville. We do not have one, however, in the other side of Quake Heights near Springler Row. So we actually should put one in over here. I'm thinking right there, and then we'll move that crematorium over one or two. Can I just do that right away? Yes. So now we'll just have to move this fire department here. Or should we actually, we should probably put it right there. Now, I just moved that for nothing. But, yeah, we should put it right here because it'll go ahead and hit everybody possible. It'll be able to go this way and this way and this way and whatever way except for that way. Hmm. You know what? We might have to put it right here. But either way, we'll figure that one out in the next episode. Um, this one's kind of run a little long. We still haven't done too much uh, in the past couple episodes, but... The good thing is, we finally have some wood. Yes, One Way Bay has wood, finally. Uh, we figured out our little dilemma there. Woody's wood is just a single tree over here. Um, apparently, these trees are all things. So, that's a little strange, but either way. We've gotten this sorted out. We've gotten an actual Woody's wood shop. Um, and then, maybe down here, we'll start to get a wood shop or processing plant or something. I'm not even sure if the wood needs a processing buffer zone, but uh, we'll figure that out as we get there. Um, what's going on in the next episode? I don't know. We will get there when we get there. I probably should do some research on stuff, figure out why we aren't growing, figure out... I, I guess we should just build up some... Uh, treasury money at this point so we can spend it on services and hopefully entice more people to come move in but i'm not sure i'm not sure a lot if you haven't noticed but either way um yeah and the rush hour mod let me know in the comments or let me know a thumbs up thumbs down if you either support or do not support that mod and uh yeah we'll see you back here in one way bay i'm gonna wind this one down and actually end this one now but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments anything you think. Give me them thumbs up or thumbs down if you enjoy or dis don't enjoy. That disenjoy is not a word. But anyway, guys, I'll see you next time here in One Way Bay, and stay tuned for that.